in today's video where you're going to be seeing what would happen if the nba had a fantasy draft so make sure you guys get snacks get ready for this video because it's going to be a very very good video make sure you guys sub like comment down below your prediction for the team you think is going to win and yes let's get started all right so looking at all the teams here we have the toronto raptors first now one thing i noticed is this team drafted a lot of canadian shea um lou dort and i think Chris Boucher, yeah, he's Canadian, and Tristan Thompson. So, the Raptors do have a lot of Canadian players, I guess, because they are Canadian. So, I guess they drafted Canadian players. I don't know what, what that deal is, but uh, there, that happened. Anyways, next, Houston. They have a good team. They got uh, Devin Booker, Brandon Ingram, Fred Van Bleet, Kevin Love, Rudy Gobert, and Damian Lillard. Two uh, mid-80 overalls, and then the rest fall off, kind of. And here's a perfect example. High 90, and then the rest are low 80s. So that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I kind of skipped a couple teams. It's all good. You guys see it. It's all good. This team is very, very, very young. Next team, Minnesota. They got DeMar and Christoph Porzingis. This team is very interesting. Anyways, next team, Portland. They have Donovan Mitchell and Jonas Valanciunas. Next team, Golden State. They have Jason Tatum, Desmond Bain, Lonzo, Montrose Harrell. Pretty good team. Washington Wizards, another awesome team. They definitely did draft well. They got Kawhi and Jamal Murray, so that's a really good duo right there. And then they also have John Collins, which is a good trio. That's like a good big three there. Oh, Philly, they have Steph Curry and Danny, and, I almost said Danny. So Draymond Green, actually, and Steph Curry stick together and join this Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, the Bucks, they have a John Morant, Christian Wood, another good duo. Again, I'm telling you guys, a lot of high 90s. And then they have the lower 80s, and then they have the double 80 split, where they have two, like, higher 80s. Chicago, uh, another good team here. Wow, okay, DeJounte Murray and RJ Barrett. I feel like this could work out in real life. Like, this could be a really good team here. And they have Nurkic and Melo. I think this could be a good team. I think this is, like, a 6 fifth seed. Cleveland, Zion, <clears throat> Clint, Holiday. Okay, this is, this is, and Smart as well. So they have a great defensive backcourt here with Holiday and Smart. And they have a, oh my gosh, this might be one of the best teams, best defensive teams. And they have a great center defender in Clint Capella. So they have Luca. so, and they have Tobias Harris. Kind of an odd fit, like this is so random. They have Darius Garland, not much to say about this team. And here Memphis, wow, Memphis got LeBron. Okay, this is so random. I don't think LeBron would ever think about going to Memphis, but I guess he's there and he has to deal with Ben Simmons and that's gonna go awesome, isn't it? Atlanta, all George, DeMontis Sabonis, another pretty good team. Yeah, I think this team could do well. They have a good scoring center, rebounding center, and another, uh, I don't know if I would trust Paul George as my number one scoring option. Definitely during, definitely not during the playoffs too. This team looks pretty mid. Yeah, they have Joel and then, yeah. Uh, Keldon Johnson, I think, he, yeah, he, he'll be good. He'll definitely help out Joel, but other than that, if this was TJ Warren's bowl, then he would be awesome to have, but and they have Kevin Porter. Okay, he has, he has a few 40-point games every 10 games, but uh, that won't help them win a lot. I mean, it will, but he's kind of inconsistent. Okay, here, Charlotte. Wow, they have the duo back of uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, but they also have Jordan Poole and Marvin Bagley. And here next, uh, Utah. This is, wow, Utah got lucky here with uh, Kyrie and Pascal. They're still not going to make it out of the first round, which is really sad. And they have Colin, but uh, it's nice to see that Utah is relevant. Sacramento, they have uh, Nikola Jokic, Tyrese Halliburton. Okay, so they traded Tyrese and they decided that they messed up, so they drafted him back. Good idea. Yeah, uh, Knicks, wow, this is... This is Stephen A. Smith's dream right here. They have KD, De'Aaron, Andrew Wiggins, Mo Bamba if he cares. But this team's obviously going to be one of the favorites. They have Kevin Durant and De'Aaron Fox. And the Lakers have Chris Paul. Wow, they got the Lakers got Kyle Kuzma back and the Lakers fan and Patrick Beverly. Wow, okay, so he's just hopping teams right now. He's hopping LA. He's going everywhere. He's on the Lakers now. So you, you just have to have fun with Westbrook. Now you got Kuzma. I wish you guys got Ben. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Orlando, they have Levine, Jaron Jackson, Vucevic, Russell. Okay, this is a pretty good team as well. Probably one of the funniest teams I would watch here. And next one, let's see. Butler, CJ McCollum. Okay, interesting. James Harden and uh, Chris Middleton with Steven Adams and Jalen Brunson on the Brooklyn Nets. So James Harden decides that he wants to go back to Brooklyn. 
Oh, well, he didn't decide, but he's got him now. So Denver's got uh, Bradley Beal and DeAndre Ayton with Jeremy Grant and Spencer Dinwiddie. Another interesting team. A lot of these teams are very interesting. Oh, this this is this is a team I want to watch right here. Bam out of bio, Jalen Brown. Finally got Jalen Brown being the number one. I think he deserves to be a number one on some team, especially after this finals run. So he finally gets the chance. And next team, the Pelicans. They have okay, Trey Young and K. This is and Mitchell Robinson. Okay, this is this is a very interesting team again. I know I'm saying this a lot because I'm not, you know, used to all these teams. But Cade and Trey. Now their defense is gonna be interesting. Cade is a pretty good defender. Not really Trey, but I guess you know any. I guess yeah, he's a good defender. Okay, so there's not really anything interesting. Plus they got uh, Isaac and Robinson. Okay, the Pelicans are smart here. They drafted a player that really didn't have great defense and just got great defenders here with uh, Isaac and Robinson. And Gary Trent's a pretty good defender as well. He's pretty average, and Kate is pretty good as well with the B plus perimeter defense. Again, I don't really watch Kate Cunningham, so I don't really know if he's that good of a defender, but I guess he is. Next team, Detroit. They have Lowry and AD, and Scotty, and OG, and Norman Powell. Okay, so Masai must have went to Detroit. Because, or no, maybe maybe it's Dwayne Casey, and then you know, he, he got ties with Masai, and he brought Masai over, and he was like, okay, let's build AD as the new Kawhi. Let's get Lowry, Scotty, OG, Norman Powell. All right, back to Toronto. So those are all the teams. So let's start simming. This is a lot of talking I've done. I need to take a break. I'm going to sim to the all-star break. That rhymed. Anyways, let's go. Okay, looking at the all-star teams, we got LeBron and Steph Curry as captains, as always, obviously. And not really any surprises here all-star-wise. Maybe, I guess, not really Sabonis. And uh, Jaws first time. But yeah, nothing really shocking here. The Nets are destroying the league right now. No, actually the Mavericks are. Okay, so I think the Mavericks were a team that I was looking at. Uh, not really, actually. They, they was a Jimmy Butler team. Wow, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so every team from the bottom three are below 500 and they're in the play. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that means in the East... <clears throat> The one, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, the 10th seed would be the 4th seed in the West. That is actually insane. So looking at the end of the season stats, Steph Curry averaging a big 37 points. That is insane. Then he shot 50, 40, 90 as well. He had, he had two steals a game. 1.5, which is two. I'm rounding it up. Seven assists and uh, six rebounds. That's actually insane for Steph Curry. Rookie of the year goes to Kate Cunningham. Russell Westbrook wins six man of the year. Finally fitting into his role. Oh my gosh. 30 and 10 and 11. Hold on. Most improved. Maxi averaged 26. Okay, Maxi. It's going off. Jason Kidd wins coach of the year with 65 wins. And that's basically it. That's all NBA first teams, second teams, third teams. Nothing really shocking here. And yeah, that's basically it there. Nothing shocking. Brooklyn kind of fell off. Cleveland's there. Detroit, Boston, Washington, Toronto. And then the playing teams are here. Uh, Miami didn't make it. Uh, this team was pretty mid, as I said. I'm surprised they actually did that well. Worst team in the league, Charlotte. Okay, no, actually, there's a couple ties here. Indiana. One of the worst teams in the league. I thought this team would do better. Jalen Brown and Bam did not work out. Milwaukee here. Yeah, this team was pretty mid. This team was pretty... This team wasn't that good at all. They didn't have anyone except really Jaw. I mean, Christian Wood was there, but it's not enough. This team... This team was, again, the most shocking team for me. I thought this team would do pretty well, but I guess not. Let's look at the west side here. We got Denver. and make the playoffs there. They were the worst team there. And uh, let's look at the top team. Dallas. Top team in the whole entire league. Wow, okay, so I guess Drummond, Butler, and CJ works. The West stayed pretty um, bum as most teams were under 500. Let's look at Utah, Kyrie. Yeah, this team, I thought this, uh, honestly, I thought this team would do better as well. I guess Kyrie can't lead a team. League leaders, basically the same here. Nothing really too shocking. Shea averaging 30 is kind of shocking, not gonna lie. Let's get into the playoffs. Let's send the play-in teams 
and yes let's go let's go okay so lakers are in it so are the pelicans and so are the knicks and sixers so first round let's go let's go who are you guys predicting comment down below right now and make sure you guys are subbing because a lot of people are not subbed right now it's like 89 it's 90 percent okay 90 so let's look at the first round here both eight seeds make it out so the nets choke and so do dallas the lakers and san antonio are playing so as golden state and okc and the raptors made it out they're playing philly a lot of low seeds right here this is interesting but washington new york made it out as well so it's some light round two so wow okay golden state went up 3-0 looks like they're gonna choke nope okay the toronto raptors have also been eliminated sad but we're gonna see a washington philly golden state san antonio so let's see I'm predicting that I'm gonna I'm gonna go Washington. You know, you know I'm gonna go Washington. I don't really know the teams. I forget, but I'm going Washington. They are not looking. Yep, yeah, they are not gonna make it. And uh, yeah, so Golden State versus 76ers. Even with a fantasy draft, Golden State Warriors are still in the finals. And will they win? It is 1-1, 2-1, 3-1. 3-2, 3-3. I think it. Oh my gosh, the Warriors just completed a 3-1 comeback. And Jason Tatum averaged 34, 7, and 6. So, let's look at this team. You kind of want to know what this team's looking like. I think I remember a bit of it. But again, it was a while ago, okay? Let's look at Warriors, Desmond Bain, Jason Tatum, Alonzo Ball, Car I almost said Carmelo, Cole Anthony, Montrose Harrell, Terrence Davis, Dwight Howard, Javante Green. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thank you so much for the support. Make sure you guys like, comment down below what video you guys want to see next. Because I am taking requests. I do need some video ideas. I do have some, but always help is wanted. So, again, I thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.